How's it going? I am. This is more of a test of anything. I'm going to go see what I can do to start a new game. So of course, we got to play Iron Man. Can't actually type, apparently. Okay. There we go, Iron Man. Oh, help me. Once more into the fray, dear friends. Hold on a second, I'm trying to see if, why I can't. There's no audio here. Oh. Let's contact the main fleet. I'm going to just skip this because I've done this a thousand times. I don't need to read it again. you're supposed to do when you're streaming, but you need to just get into it here. Alright, let's get you out of the way here. Looks like I'm getting heavy interference, picking up another Templar on 12th deck, Kappa Sector. Communications Sergeant Kathos, do you copy? Blah, blah, blah. I'm a badass. Let's do it. March. Blah blah blah. It's all tutorial stuff. So I want to use this to defend myself. Well these idiots try and attack me. Yes, yes, yes. Skip all choke point. Tactical advantage. Let's shoot some things. Good. For our profit. Not going anywhere, not moving anywhere. Yes. Counterattack? No counterattacks, that's nice. Alright, so I don't use slash very often. Oi. I don't use slash very often because both of those might have been parried and opened me up for counterattacks. So I only have so many hit points. Thankfully, these things don't hit too hard. You block one, counterattack. No? Okay, cool. Die. Okay. Listen. Can you block something? Block it. No? Okay, cool. Can you block that? No? <laughs> Good job, Captain. Yes, let me through. Alright, still got four move points left. We'll move all of as far as we can and then use our last action point there. No grenades yet, so we still have one AP floating. That's cool though. Nope. Block block get a block something. No? It's okay. Mr. Ortho, good to see you again. Forgive me if the volume for this is off. Leave me a comment and let me know if you need 
the game volume turned up or down. It's pretty low, but I have no way of getting feedback on that that I know of. Yes, blah, 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 lots of Overwatch, good stuff. Captain gets some free move points, it's always nice. All right, cool. Ooh, and all of his stuff gets reset. So, I have a habit of wanting to just move as far as I possibly can. So, I'm going to move down here. Might risk if something spawns here or here that they run up and attack him here, but he should only be able to get attacked by one square. If, he, if something goes here, they'll have a 50 50 chance of picking the captain, and that's good. Same here. He's going to move right here because that's the closest way to get to attack to somebody. Now, to further solidify my holding, I am going to drop Overwatch right on the captain. So, this guy is likely going to get stopped here or here. That means this guy is going to get stopped here or here or here. And then this guy is going to get stopped somewhere over here. So all three have a chance of getting hit by this. This one guy, the only way he can get to me is right here. Now, yeah, I could have attacked with my burst fire. Doesn't really matter. All I care about is destroying the things that spawn in this room as fast as I can and hoping that this square right here doesn't get closed off on me. Because if it does, then it's going to take me an extra turn to get to the door. My next turn, I'm moving both of these guys right up to the door, so as soon as the door opens, I can just run right through. Fast. Gotta go fast. Templars cannot withstand too many hits. See? Boom. Block it. Kill it. Thank you. Yep. See? Alright. Good. Dallin all the way to the door. Captain right here. Let's take out him. Ha! Well, that just gives me... What's the cost on this? 2 AP. Nah, not worth it. So I yep, hit him. And then I'm going to put this right here. This closes off this entire area. And this guy might come this way and come right there. Yes, something might spawn here and here, but Dallin's got max hit points. Captain, he's getting down there. He's fine. He's got his buff on. All right, let's end the turn. Yep, yep. You gonna block it? Oh, that's a big hit. And you stop there, and you stop there, and you die. All right, Captain, you're not doing too hot. All right, can I please? Yes. We've defeated the Xeno Pack, and there's two left. Now. This is because I've done this before. You might not know on your first run through that you can do this. Move him all the way and then the captain's gonna move right there. Hopefully only one thing will attack him. But there's a spawn point right up here. So that could send something down. Dallin might be a little bit closer I don't think this guy has enough... Oh, yes, it's out of range, thank you. Only six movement points. Three, four, six. So, if he moves, if he uses all of his movement points, he'll be able to reach the captain. But again, I don't really care. What I don't want is something coming from this spawn point right here, blocking my pathway to this door. Captain's gonna hold by this door and wait for Dallin here to open it up for him. Mm, yep, I'm just going to do that. Nothing can come through here now without taking heavy damage. Yep, so he blocked off this pathway. Computer's too dumb. 
They're like, uh, we're just gonna run away. Go the long way around. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. These suits are awesome. Cool stuff. I'm gonna... What's your hit points? You're undamaged. Can you reach him? Nope. Still? Okay, cool. I'm glad I moved him all around. He's dead. Nothing's coming through here. This spawn point, see? Like I told you. Right there. He, there's nothing that's going to attack him, so I'm not going to bother burning his heat for his overwatch. If there is, I'll be very surprised. Nope, computer didn't decide to spawn anything right here, which is perfect for me. Alright, let's go meet our buddy. It's hateful beasts, yes. Major badass. Slice and dice. None of you shall pass my blade. Hack and slash. This guy must be great at Thanksgiving. Blah, blah, blah. No time to talk. Let's seal the gate. Can't stop him otherwise. One of them must control, reach the control room to the west. That's down here. And engage the manual locks. That's why we left the captain there. Because otherwise, you'd have to bring your captain all the way up and then all the way over here. And that's two turns. Or three. When you can just leave him there and do the next part in one or two turns. Yes, fall back and regroup. Plan the next move. Elevators to the east. You fall back. Yes, yes, yes. Fall back. Great. Yes, control's not that far, and even not leaving the spot until all the scatterlings are dead because he's major badass. And a major Xeno spawn, which is fun. That's everything up here. But it's fine because this guy just nukes things. And now there's no possible way that he's going to die or even really get hit. Now the captain comes over here, boop, opens the door. Oh, spooky. Look at these things. Now, using talents and opening doors takes movement points. Therefore, we're going to move all the way the hell up because we like to use all of our movement points getting towards our objectives. And these guys, they just die a miserable, horrible death to two double grenades for 71 damage. See, can't open it because I don't have the movement points. That's it for this turn. I don't want to look at my calendar, thank you. Alright, so, an important thing when you're trying to maximize your kills Kill everything that you can reach before you get to the end of a level. This guy. Screw this guy in particular. Does he die? Yes, he does. Perfect. That's one more kill. We open this door. I'm not going to bother with that scheduling because I wouldn't have the points I needed to get here. There's no more enemies to kill. We've cleaned the board except for these stragglers here. Doesn't matter. Boom. End the level. Don't ever let your Templar get trapped in there. Yeah, they'll die. A really bad, horrible death. Doors are sealed. Templars rally to me. We have succeeded. Lots of stuff going on. Main battle guns. We've been ran. Both gun decks destroyed. No. We can't retreat. Templar. Oh, stand with me, knights. We're going to go down into the, the depths of our ship here and resecure our gun decks. Deck 14 is completely lost. Yeah, you haven't met my captain, have you? With, with my captain and then Captain Major Badass, we will win. Call for resupply. It's not a debate. I'm bigger than you. Templars. Ooh, for Shalene. Yes, let's go down. Elevator slides down into the darkness, taking the fight to the enemy. Oh, big need. Okay. Perfect. So, 11 turns, it's about my average, 20 kills, 2% bonus, not that great, but it's the first level, so 
we were able to get a bonus point. That's a big help. Yes, Battle Force HQ. You'll always return here. I know all about the headquarters. Pinch zoom. I have a mouse with a scroll wheel, but I have to pinch zoom. It's brilliant. Look at the size of this tree. It's fantastic. Don't have any RP though, so I can't buy anything just yet. But as soon as we do, we're going to be getting all of these. It'll be in the next video. Until then, what I do with this, automatically put a point in willpower. Anytime that you can prevent heat damage is good by me. I put a point into gunnery. And then that's where I'm going to leave it for a while. Talents. Look, frag grenade two gives me four grenades. I'm a grenade junkie. So I always put this first point into grenade. And equip. I don't know if there's anything else for me to do. I don't have my backer equipment with me because I'm not about to. Put that up there. I don't think the TB would be very happy with me. Um, parry. Parry is always what you want to go for when you're... Because I, I always use plasma sidearms, or my sidearm. I never use shields. They're just not as good. The most effective sidearm for the first half of the game only costs three points, which gives you time to... or gives you plenty of points to equip stuff here. And here. Gets you a better blade, better armor. You can get comparable, almost comparable uh, protection with kits and tax systems and regular armor. Then you can with the shield. I just nightmare Iron Man, well, really brutal nightmare and Iron Man. Um, it's a game of removal. If you're not removing every single thing that you can, you are leaving yourself open for big damage. Um, let's see here. Let me get this out of the way. I like, let's make my captain. What do I usually put him as? Hmm. Yeah, I like the gold for him. And let's see. Who does my captain want to be this game? Ah, you know what? No, get. Stop it. You know, for this, let's go with blue. I like to color code my, my Templars too. It's weird, but um, let's, you know, Rochman's fine. I like that one. Temp my first Hydra will be named Enigma, as is tradition. Um, okay, so that's the Captain Dallin. And always go red. Nope, wrong way. Blue is for Hydras. Dallin Ortho. You look like Dallin to me. Status, willpower. And what do we have for talents? Yep. Overwatch. It's one of the most important things you can put on a character. So that means I'm just going to put another point in gunnery. Accuracy is important. I get most of my accuracy for ranged uh, folks. I use gunnery. For melee, I always use warrior, like you'll see for the captain. Gunnery is going to stay there because I get most of my accuracy from empowered attacks. Um, warrior is so important for defense, for melee, so I just bump that all the way up. I don't really worry about tactics. I don't worry about evasion. I don't worry about grenades. Just like you'll never see me put a point into focus, strength, or quickness. It's all fortitude and willpower. Um, by the time I get 12 fortitude, I should have at least 8 willpower. I kind of go 1.5 to 1 for that, and I just max out warrior as soon as I can. For Dallin, I'm going to go max out gunnery and not worry about quickness or strength, whatever their weapons are, I think it's strength. Not worry about that. Yes, these add other bonuses for you, but this is more important for how I play. And honestly, if you're a newer player, 
I would very highly recommend my strategy at least for Fortitude and Willpower because it makes for a much comfier game. Um, you don't worry as much about um, taking damage from Willpower. Now, about Willpower, if the game rolls a die every turn that you're overheat, and if you're... Like, Willpower helps negate that die. Don't get out of here. Willpower helps negate that. Here, let me... Reduces damage from overheating. Also reduces damage from any special damage type, including radiation, fire, plasma. Now, radiate, now, in, in that, that's very handy, because a lot of those will ignore a lot of your armor. So, natural resistance that soaks damage types. So, most of my Templars are all built to soak damage. That's what the Fortitude is for. That's what... And willpower helps lower. I mean, you you could take 10, 12 points of damage every turn if you're really overheated, and that's basically a, a free attack for the Xeno. And I, that's that's not, I'm not about that. I I don't like taking damage. I cannot abide taking damage. And on this, oh my god, oh go away. And on the longest deployments, that damage stacks up. So we've got bullseye lock, or we've got ammo rack. See so again, damage critical. I'm boosting damage with my empowered attacks. So I need all the accuracy I can get. So bullseye lock for him. Now, if you know, like I do, that you have a new recruit coming on, or you're going to recruit something, the game will always deploy from your roster before it deploys a new Templar as long as you have one ready to go. So now, I want to deploy an engineer, because it's letting me. Now my engineers, I like to... These are the ones I like to put gold, because the turrets look amazing. Matthias... That's close to my brother's name. I don't know if any of these guys look like Matt, but... No, my engineer... I like this guy for an engineer. He looks witty enough. So... I really want sentry turrets, but that's way too early. Now, engineers, I do differently than my other classes. Them, I'll raise willpower and fortitude almost evenly. And they also go um, mostly gunnery. Six tactics for the buff. And then I start boosting engineer. So gunnery and engineer stay the same. Tactics goes to six eventually. Soon, but eventually. Um, and then, yep, one to one, fortitude and willpower. Not worried about those. Yeah. So, um, my next video, I will do deck fourteen here. It's one of my favorite levels. I, I love the intro to this game. It gets it's a slog, and this level in particular can be just brutal. And I'm probably gonna wait. No. This is the engineer. I love this level. This level is... I've got a really cool strategy for it, and I will show you guys on the next one. So thanks for stopping by.